of Tini. The tribe has spoken. I know that you were really upset about me falling asleep that day for some reason. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Another week of us pre-recording. <laughs> we are still blissfully out to sea. <laughs> Somewhere in the Mediterranean. I'm just loving this know. for future me. <laughs> it's great. Uh, okay, so last time we were talking about the pod scene. Yes, the pods. Of Love is Blind. This week we moved to dun, 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 the honeymoon. Yes. Well, pre- before the before they get married moon. Yeah, it's honeymoon. like honeymoon, living together, like very stressful. I yeah. Feel like, kind of. It's like... The dominoes slowly yeah. just like falling. I think for every yeah. single couple, like it's just like, oh, another one. I fell. know. They're like dropping oh, like flies. They're one. like, oh, oh, oh. oh you come no. out with so many couples, then they're like dropping I like know. flies. I do think if love is blind, like the one cat, well, there's many caveats, but I think the biggest like caveat, because I think the idea of the experiment is really fascinating to like yes. get to know someone without the visual. But the pressure of the marriage in a month. I would say no. Is really, I think, is crazy. where it I loses, think that's where it is. It, yeah. Where it loses me, and I think it's where it loses yeah. them. Like, I feel like just, like, getting, meeting in someone and getting, and, like, getting to date them, how you meet like that. But with the pressure of, like, oh, we have to, like, decide if we want to get married. And then if we don't get married, we're likely going to break up. Yeah. I feel like I would be like, hey, hear me out. I agree. What if we like don't get married but like date? That's what my approach would be. I feel like with the conversation to this other person because I don't know if I could. That's a big decision for me. Yeah. And I would maybe like to date them to like oh, continue, for sure. but like getting married in a month. I feel like the producers have to discourage that a lot. They do because that is the most logical yeah, thing because to do. That's like the whole bit of the show. Yeah. And I think the way that because the show, you know, going in. Yeah. The way that it works is I think a lot of people. If that conversation kind of starts, they immediately think the other person's like jumping ship. Yeah. But that's true. Because I feel like I don't understand why they all wouldn't do that. Right. Because in my mind, I'm like, come on. Like, what are we doing? It is way more logical. But yeah, I guess with with the high pressure and like you're signing up for this, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. But there, yeah, there's this weird pressure of like, if we say no, like that's it. Like you're yeah. rejecting me essentially. Well, yeah. And you're doing it on such a public scale mm-hmm. that I would have a hard time coming back after that. Yeah. But there is one couple that I think was really smart about it. They are legally married. Um, it's that ballerina. Oh, that one yes. season with yeah. Colleen and I think his name was Matt. Yeah. Why I remember that is crazy. But yeah. they said yes at the altar but then shortly after, like, she ended up getting her own, like, place. Yeah. And they've been, like, living apart, dating, essentially. Yeah. And, like, for yeah. a year or two. And I think, like, that is more logical. I mean, obviously, mm-hmm. like, you are married. Still legally married. So it yeah. seems iffy. But I think it's, like, similar to when JoJo was the bachelorette where, like, she and um jordan got engaged but then they dated for five years yeah, before they actually like, got married like that's like exactly what most I would of the do. other dating especially like the bachelor franchise like yeah like you get engaged but then yeah you have the freedom to like be engaged for like years with this yeah. slapping the the legality of marriage is like kind of crazy and like i wouldn't i mean i i don't know that's like a month is a a short amount of time oh, to yeah. like know someone and feel physically comfortable with them. A no, yeah, I wouldn't. So to me, I just like don't. Yeah, but kudos to these people who are. Yeah, like, I think I go. would be like, we're gonna get married, but we're gonna like date then for yeah, a while. Yeah, I don't want to like live with you yet. Like, no. I just don't. I don't know. No. That's just where so, I would be coming from. Yeah. I'd be the same. I'd just be like, I need like a bit more time. But, but then yeah. also at that point, like the wedding's weird. Yeah. Like you're not really inviting like your close no, family and friends. It so it's not even like I would want the free wedding. No. Like I would just be like, let's not do it and let's date. And so I agree. I would probably try and push that conversation. But I just yeah. feel like the other person always I feels just feel like so if I rejected. was on the show, met someone, whatever, there would be a point where like, the screen would go black and would be like they chose to like 
not participate and like do yeah. their own thing i.e we're dating and like yeah. not gonna go through with this but the whole point of the show is to like try to go the yeah. full to the full experiment so yeah kudos to these people for like Doing giving it. giving it their all and yeah whatever so but anyway so they meet they meet after the pods and then they go on this honeymoon so to speak to cabo to like they, see if they like each if other if they like each other some of them choose to be physically intimate all I of think. them do except for taylor and garrett yeah i yeah which that's was a wild decision shocking that's a wild decision to me, for me. <laughs> out of like six couples five yeah and they were all pretty open about it yeah. is kind of crazy to me yeah. and it was only after like one or two nights which i think is even crazier yeah i like, think in, in past seasons it hasn't been that no it hasn't been like no that. no 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 no. i swear they like waited a bit mm-hmm. like maybe there was one couple that was like yeah whatever but yeah that's so crazy many of to them me. that's like i've known you for like oh a week yeah i wouldn't feel great about that right off the gate but I think it just, like, can make it complicated and messy. I agree. But, again, everyone has different opinions around that topic. So, yeah, most of them choose to do that. Um, But I just feel like as the episodes go on, like we kind of said, they start dropping, like, flies. Because the first signs of warning we see (laughs) are with, well, that's even hard to choose because not all of them aren't really great. No. So I would say Nick and Hannah were for sure kind of one of the first. Yeah. And yeah. But it's like with them, it's like so immature and like these little. It's like little bickers. Little bicker. Where yeah. like you feel uncomfortable being around it. Yeah. But like you're not sure if it's joking as an outsider. Yeah. And so you're just kind of like, ha, ha, ha. And then we also see um, Taylor and Garrett seem to be doing really well. Yeah. Similar senses of humor. Mm-hmm. Monica and Steven, we do see a bit of a weirdness, just yeah. awkwardness. Yeah. And then Steven just talk, 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 talk. Talks very long winded. But like talks, but like isn't saying anything. And like doesn't ask what she's like thinking. Like he could just. That's like. And like I can understand, like I can relate, I think a little. But I do think I have enough social cues and social no, awareness no, to know like, when you you've talk, been talking for too I long. I feel like when you talk, like you're you're saying something. I feel like he's talking just to talk and like yeah. isn't making a point. He's just like talking. Yeah, I would agree. With like no, like just around in circles, like no. And she's not giving much back. No. And then I was irritated because she was like, dude, stop talking. Yeah. But then. She doesn't say anything. She just keeps eating her chips. And I'm like, girl, if you're going to tell him to stop talking, start talking. Maybe she she could have just wanted silence. Silence. That's true. But, yeah, it was kind of weird because he's, like, stopped talking. And then she just, And then like, it was just silent. Silent. And she was like, babe, you're talking so much, I can't even get a word in. And then she yeah, was that's, silent. Yeah, so then yeah. I was like, girl, yeah, yeah. you're going to ask him to stop talking. Let's speak up here, okay? <laughs> and then... Tyler and Ashley seem to be doing well on the honeymoon uh-huh. stage. Kind of not boring, I don't want to say, but a little bit. We're like, Wait, production okay, is not on, closely. Sorry. I know. We forgot a couple on the other episode. We did. But I, and I, I don't I'm, remember their name. I'm confused because there's... There's one with the dead sisters. There's Tim and Tyler. Yes, and then it's what, Tim. And are they both Ashley? No. No. Tyler and Ashley. Tim and... Or am I wrong? One of the girls is Ashley, and one of the guys is Tim, but I don't know. Alexandra and Tim. Oh, Alex. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The other girl's name was Brittany. The girl we were calling Gabby is Brittany. Mm-hmm. Same thing. <laughs> Sorry. <Gabby. laughs> um, Alex and Tim, we saw the aftermath. This is where I've been seeing a lot of heat on Love is Blind. No, literally. Is people are like, what? Are they doing? No, no. How this are we is, missing these huge what, arguments know, on this production? Too. This is what happens. It's like silent. Like the Crickets. footage rolls. Crickets. The, the, <laughs> cram- the cameras are back on and it's silent. And it, Love is Blind is like, you guys just missed yeah. the biggest fight of the century. And now we are going to slowly <laughs> fill you in on the details. And to, not like, even catch, the details. Catch you up to speed because you're so you're trying to like it's, piece together like what happened like what did she do what did he do and they're just like sitting on the couch like well I don't know if we're gonna come back from this and you're like 
What happened? It's so good because it's like just like footage of in the apartment <laughs> or in the hotel silence. One of them is like sitting on the couch awkwardly quiet. Yeah. The other one is like rustling around trying to avoid it. And yeah. then the other person's like, so are we going to talk about what happened? And you as the audience is like, what, what happened? happened? You like And then now? they like sit down and they're like, yeah, last night was pretty crazy. And then they're like, I know, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. Well, if that's what's going to happen, we can't be together. And she's like, no, I know. I'll and never then, do like, it again. They'll drop that's things, it. Like, I'm like, like, they'll drop things like, well, are you going to come back and stay? And I'm like, so he left? Yeah. I'm like, what I'm like, did we like, fight about? To piece Still it. didn't figure out what they fought no. about. All I know is she grabbed his face and he did not like it. Oh, no. no she closed his mouth because he was talking. Oh, yeah. Like, he pointed, got mad. Pointed, yeah. Pointed it in his face. Clo like, closed his mouth. And at some point left. And he got mad and left. Yeah. And then it's just like, yeah, it's a, I'm like, I'm you, like, you guys, the producers, you guys have one job. Where like, are the cameras? You're filming all the time. Yeah. Like, how did we not catch this fight? I was so irritated. But so they I was like, like, apparently, it's like they do it intentionally. They're that, on rocky water. That happens multiple times. Yeah, where it it's does. Like, oh, you guys missed the fight. And I'm like, <laughs> I, like, I'm not even that interested because you're literally not even telling me enough. No, to I be don't know interested. what they're fighting about. So, so how can I have, annoying. I can't have any stake in the I game. I have no care. Because like, I don't know, I don't know whose side I'm no, on. Literally. So Alex and Tim, I'm like, yeah, they, okay. Something weird Something happened. Something weird happened. Yeah. And he got mad and left. Yeah. And then I got back, like they started, he came back and yeah. they were fine. <laughs> and then Nick wanted to ride this fake <sighs> duck. Stupid duck thing. And Hannah was like, if you do it, I'm going to be annoyed and like, icked out and he's like well i'm gonna do it anyway mm -hmm. and then he did it and she was annoyed and icked out yeah and then this older lady like raced the duck with him and she got so mad about it the woman was literally 60. Yeah. i was like yeah, I just you're felt, such a stick in the mud i know so annoying. i felt like for how much crap she gives him for being immature i was like that was immature yeah i just like don't like, you're gonna get mad at him because you got the ick because he's just like out there having fun and also you're gonna tell him you got the ick because of it, like keep that to yourself. Get over it. I feel like the ick usually comes when yeah, like someone does something kind of unintentionally, and you're like, oh, I didn't, like love that. But I don't like, think it's a reason for you to end no, things. No, it's not. So whatever. Again, was, she continues to infuriate me because she's like, you're so mature, you're so mature, and she's the one being immature. Yeah, yeah I would agree. Um, I do think he's annoying though. Yeah, but that's yeah, fine. I'm, like fair. Um, but I definitely think. She's in the wrong in their relationship. Yes. yes. And then, yeah, Tyler and Ashley seem all a okay. Yeah, they seem Cabo. pretty mature and like Taylor doing here, good. cute as could be. Yeah, fun really, little banter, really in vibing Cabo. with each other. Funny senses of humor, mm -hmm. laughing it up, taking little vlogs. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah, I was like, I want them to get married. Yeah. Absolutely want yeah. them to get married. And I kind of feel like that was it for the honeymoons. Yeah. yeah. Nothing was really crazy. The happened. biggest blow yeah, the biggest blow up was that one. Close to Tim. Yeah. I did think the thing with so Hannah and Nick get in that weird whatever fight. And then she like writes a list. Oh yeah, that was weird. This is again, it's so immature. She writes a list of all the like things that she's like questioning or whatever. Like, like doesn't like about him. Like <laughs> delusional, immature, cocky, like kind of like things you probably wouldn't that would hurt. If I read Alyssa, yeah. it was about me. And she, like, leaves it out. And, of course, he sees it. And I'm just like, <laughs> that's so rude. I'm that like, you didn't even so... throw it away. Put it in your phones, in your notes app. Keep it in your journal. Like, Why would you those write Those are your private thoughts. And then, like, you just, like, leave it You leave it leave out. It? Yeah, that was so fake. I just was like. She left it out on purpose. A yeah. thousand percent. I just was like, A, first, like, have a conversation about those things yeah. instead of making your little note and harboring it against yeah, him. Yeah, absolutely. I just thought it was super immature. I'm like, you have an adult conversation about things, concerns that you have yeah. versus writing it down and then every time he does something, you're like, see, you're immature. Yeah, I agree. I was like irritated. I think we need to talk about um, after the honeymoons because there's one couple that I want to set on fire. Oh. Because of it? Because yeah. in the honeymoon stage... I already forgot Melissa and Ramses. Oh, Marissa. Marissa. Oh. Is her name Marissa? Marissa. Do you feel Ramses. good about that? Yes, I do feel good about that. <laughs> it is Marissa, you're right. A lot of slides on that. Yeah. Marissa and Ramses were like 
perfect couple in the honeymoon stage. They like were they seemed definitely had chemistry. Like they yeah. definitely were feeling each other physically more than probably anything else. Um, yeah, which I think cool. is. I think it's a Again, dangerous path. It's a dangerous path, and it gets messy. And it does. We are about to explain why. And so, <laughs> in the pods, this girl is military. Yeah, she wears it very proudly. She's like, yeah. I served in the military. In the Navy, mm -hmm. I'm a boat girl, mm -hmm. a lot of friendships, grew up kind of in military, everything mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. And he was like, didn't say anything against yeah. it in the pods, yeah. it was just like, yeah. whatever. And then post pods, like they made, he made dinner and they were kind of, they started talking politics and everything, which. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> I was like, oh man, <laughs> let's see what's happening here makes me nervous watching it but yeah. that's fine yeah and he like absolutely tore her down for being yeah. military like i feel like changed his tune and was yeah. like no i'm so anti-military yeah. i don't like agree or respect anything they do and like she like wasn't even arguing she was more just like no. i want you to like imagine me being at 18 like it gave me a lot of great opportunity i mm -hmm. met a lot of like my closest mm -hmm. friends like it helped me get me through school it gave me like yeah. financial cover like all these different things taught her a lot da, 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 da. and he's like i just think it's the worst thing basically ever yeah. he's like i literally hate it so much mm -hmm. and he was told her to a point where like he would not bring it up in public yeah like, like at like like basically embarrassed about yeah, it and like embarrassed of her, her and yeah. of that part of her past and he would not bring yeah bring that up yeah and, and he said she was like well if i went back into it and he was like that it would it, we would be done yeah he's like i would not we would not be together and mm -hmm. i was like oh my gosh yeah like so disrespectful and yeah, yeah people getting, can say i was getting mad yeah i just like would never Cause she wasn't being pushy about it. She wasn't no. like, oh, I like I love. She wasn't she, like pro. She war, was like pro. really honest and was like, yeah, there there was things I didn't love about yeah. it, and I left and like, but I can't go back. Like what mm -hmm. it gave me and like what I learned and like that is part of my past and I'm proud yeah. of that. I am proud also that I yes. left, but she he, was so well spoken. She was very well spoken well, about it, well not spoken. pushy about it, not like you know, yeah, super like pro violence or anything yeah. but and it was amazing too because she was like you should like think and understand like people like there are a lot of kids going into this at 18 mm -hmm. like they're mm -hmm. not the ones making the decisions like you're faced with a lot yeah of things you don't necessarily and you, yeah, want you, to do and you don't necessarily when you sign up like, it's you, not you, you don't really it. know what's in store for you yeah and so the fact that he put her so down about it yeah made her feel ashamed for ever even being involved with it made me so angry yeah because it is something she should be proud of like she made mm -hmm. all too like so many of her friends yeah if i was one of her friends and i saw that conversation i would have been livid, livid. i would have been like absolutely yeah. not livid we and are you were they like briefly because no. like when they met her friends they kind of talked about it and yeah because that's gonna continue to like it's not like oh it's done and dead and gone in the past like no because they talked about like well with like kids and stuff are you gonna what do you you know are you gonna like let them i just feel like they're gonna differ yeah a lot moving i think forward that's something that. yeah that that's not like a simple mm -mm. political opinion difference where yeah. like you can kind of let bygones be got bygones but like no. she wants to tell her future kids about like when she drove the boat and yeah, like as she, she should did. and like let them know about the military and like let them make the decision yeah on their it own. was a major like, if they want to and Having oh, the pushback that he would give, I just don't think would. No, I, don't think would do I would well. get, I would get so irrationally yeah. angry, yeah, so mad, and so I'm so anti Rams. Him, yeah, and then the whole conversation. It birth gets control worse. Wise, yeah, he gets no. he loses more points because they start having the conversation about like birth control and when they want kids and like her timeline's a little bit shorter than his, and she's like okay with like what happens if like you don't use protection and he is not yeah he, but he doesn't want to use protection yeah he's like i'm not doing that he's like i'm not doing that i i want you basically to go on birth control and she's like i don't want to go on birth control and yeah he's like well i don't enjoy it so she's like i've been on it before and it like really screwed up yeah. my hormones and like skin and like weight and everything she's like i don't want to go on it again and he's like well tough 
And he's like, I'm not going to use protection. And I don't want kids anytime soon. I, so I'm so like, figure it, was just, it out. I'm it like, was just like super, super selfish so and like angry. him centered conversation. Cause like she is saying taking birth control is like a big decision and like affects your internal bo- like yeah. body and like how it functions. And a lot of women, I think, are veering away from that, which I think is great. Yeah. But so her being open about that and then him saying like, well, A, I don't want kids right now. And B, like, I don't want to use protection because like I, I don't enjoy it. And that's a big part for me. And she's like, well, we don't have to use them, but you got to pick one side of here. The consequence of that is like potentially We're having kids. kids. And yeah. he's like, no. I just was like, you can't have your cake and eat it too, buddy. No, I was so I was, mad. So it was just so selfish and like no open mindedness from his yeah. side whatsoever. And I think like he really pushed in the beginning, like how much yeah he was accepting of so many like and he was just like, oh, like whatever. Yeah. Like, kind of a free spirited vibe. Yeah. And so I did love him meeting her family. And her mom like grilling her him. Her mom was hard I was like, on good him. Good for good yeah. for mom. Yeah. Because yeah, if you've watched your daughter, who is this tough woman, get absolutely wrecked by boy I after boy after boy, would I'm be like so scared absolutely. of her mom. Her mom was scary. I was like she was absolutely laying him out. Yeah. I was and, like, so scared of her. I was like, fair enough. I <laughs> yeah. respect this woman yeah. a lot. So I think it's unfortunate because I I do really think Marissa likes him. A I lot, agree. And I just like there's a lot of things like I don't see lining up and I just I don't I, I think she's very sweet. Yeah. And I, I just like don't want to see her. I think he packaged himself as like the least controlling person ever. And, and now they're, like, yeah, and it is almost like the opposite. It's like a very where, passive type of yeah. controlling and it's like and sneaky like, almost. Yeah. And I don't like that. It's very yeah. guilt trippy, making her feel bad about herself. And I could yeah. not, I yeah. no, despise it. And so least favorite couple, maybe for me, um, actually just Rams is because I do love Marissa. I yeah. think she's very well spoken. Um, actually other least favorite couple is Steven and Monica. Monica. <laughs> Another fight. We have not a clue really no. what happened. All but we it was know a is bad one. he didn't come home. She opened his phone and found DMs. And yeah. then he was like, I was at the eye doctor or something. Or at the sleep doctor. And she was like, were you? <laughs> and then I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, explicitly what? DMing like an ex or some girl. I'm like, what? The sleep doctor. I was like. So weird. He like, told you, you he was at the sleep doctor? <laughs> what? Like, I don't believe that for a minute. I know. I just felt, I felt bad for her because like he. I did too. He like thought she was an idiot. Yeah, and, and then her like an idiot. Yeah, he's like messaging like weird stuff from yeah. what they alluded. Messaging really weird stuff that yeah. I too would be like, get out. Yeah, get out. And he's I just hate when they play the hero. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, I'll like he's falling on the sword. He's like, I'll pack my stuff. Yeah, and go. I'll I'm leave. like, I'll leave. I'll get out of here. He's like not saying no, anything no, no, no. back. I will be filing a restraining order against no. you. I also, As you should not I be here. I'm love, like, stop. I did like love too when she was like, I also need you to like pull up your phone and Absolutely. like Venmo me for all. I like ha- have been covering you. Yeah. This past week, I need you to Venmo me, Venmo me what you owe me. Perfect. She's like, do it right now. And I was like, yes. I would have done the same thing. I'm like, pull out your phone. Let me see it. Yeah. Let me see the timestamp on it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, yes. I did love though that Taylor and Garrett were that there. That was so sweet. And even Garrett was like, Monica, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, he was he very was comforting. Being very comforting. That's when that, like, things really started to turn around. Yeah, they for, did. Because I was like, he is He's this, like, smart, like, analytical guy, but he also is, like, very emotional and vulnerable yeah. and able to, like, uh, I just. Just a gem. I respected that, yeah. A gem. Yeah. So they broke up right then and there. Yeah. Monica thank and God. Stephen. They're, they were the first to go. I feel like if we he- lost Leo and Brittany. <laughs> Next, we lost Monica and Steven. <laughs> I feel like if he comes back on the reunion, it's gonna be like that one guy who comes back and is just like <laughs> that was like doesn't one say, of my favorite photos ever. <laughs> like just stunned face, like doesn't so know what to say. Good. Like what so are you gonna good. say for yourself? Like literally nothing. Yeah, nothing. And so then, from what I saw, we then kind of saw the first chink in the armor for T- Tyler and Ashley. Yeah. And I thought it was worse based on what I saw on social media than I think what it was. Uh huh. Um, turns out he does have three kids. Oh yeah, and but again, so they start. It's like they're silent. They're yeah, sitting on the couch, uh-huh. and he's like, and she's like, I really like don't know if I can get past this, and like you're just like, 
what is it? What happened? <laughs> yeah, it turns out he has three children. children. But they are, he was just like a- He was a sperm donor. Sperm donor. For um, a, a, fem- a female couple. Yeah. A friend. That so like, it is enough entangled. Yeah. That I think it's pretty much like, dad, it's not like he's just a random donor at a bank that- Kids yeah, really won't know who he it's is. It's like hard when like you're you're gonna see them in your life yeah. and like there's connection there. I think that probably makes it a little bit weird. So I think that's honestly maybe one of the most alarming things that he didn't mention it. I think that's <laughs> why she was upset. Yeah, that's a because huge he, bomb. He didn't talk. say anything until what, like a week or two before the wedding. And I'm Yeah, like, I'd be like, No. I don't know what else you're hiding. Yeah, that's I'd be three like, children? Why did you not like tell me that? Like Again, maybe the the action doesn't like isn't a deal breaker, but like the hiding it. Yeah, the fact that you didn't tell like that's because I don't think I would care as much if you no. had been very upfront about it if in the were, pod. Yeah, like open and honest and like yeah. I did this for my friends who can't have kids. I'd be like, okay, heard. Yeah. You see the kids? Do we yeah. watch the kids? What does yeah, that look like? Was, what is my role? And it's a bit weird. And so to be sprung on Yeah. By the way, just a couple years ago, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah. that's crazy. So not looking great, in my opinion, for Tyler and Ashley. If I, I were Ashley, I would be ending it. Um, yeah, I'm bummed out because I don't think Tim and Alexandra are going to work. No. No shot. But the conversation he had with her dad yeah. was, was really beautiful. Nice. I just like, yeah, I like, because he kind of presents him what his himself a certain way, too. And I'm like. I wonder if he like has a, a quick temper and like I know I, I kind of see I kinda that. Could see that and I feel like she can be a little snotty. I agree. And so when that like I just ooh. I think it but they oil both oil and water they both do have like some sweet sides and yeah, yeah the, the whole meeting of her family and the conversation with her dad was really sweet very very sweet so that's gonna be sad. Yeah. If that doesn't work out, Nick and Hannah, she's still just being really mean to him. She's so mean, and he. Talked to her brother and was like, she kind of like always mean like this. The brother was like, yeah, and I yeah. hate it. And yeah. you can't tell her anything else because yeah. she won't listen. And I was like, right. So for sure, consistent problem in her life. Yeah. Yeah. And again, <laughs> like I we're not seeing all the different sides of Nick. But to me, he just kind of seems like a dumb, like yeah. kind of jokey guy. And I'm like. He seems just a little doofy. little doofy, which. Little doofy. Can sometimes be endearing. I think it's great for some. Yeah. Like, it works so well with some women. Yeah. I think because I'm, I don't think it would work with me. Yeah. I do tend to <laughs> He's like. He's very golden retriever. Yeah, I do tend so. to like that. Like, if if our senses of humor, that's really the key to yeah. that. If our senses of humor match up, then, like, I love, like, a goofy yeah. guy. But if if it's goofy and not funny to me, then I'm bored yeah and i'm i'm i would say i'm more geared towards a garrett Mm -hmm. where he's somewhat quiet and nerdy yeah but like if the dry sense of humor matches up like i'm set for life and so i'm like all for team Mm -hmm. garrett and taylor right now yeah i like them a lot as a couple love i think they're a good match i think there's not many problems with them and that's why production is pushing the san diego move so so hard yes I because would agree. every single time like they're on screen it's brought up mm-hmm. but every time he's like yeah like i know uh, yeah like i'm gonna be sad to leave my family and as long as we visit and they're a part of each yeah. other's life like i'll be good i think but, they're like, communicating about it yeah. super well i just think there's like no other issues and so that's why they yeah. pushed it that's so true. so hard yeah so yeah. That's where they all stand. I think, after. Yeah, I think that's where they're all at right now. So the next episodes, I think they're gonna do like the party where they like meet all mm-hmm. of the other cast members, and then weddings, weddings, and then the reunion. And we so, should recap all of it. Yeah, on we'll the be, next one, we will be recapping when we're back. Tanned and <laughs> beach tanned and ocean wave stress hair. free. <laughs> But anyways, Amazing. hope you enjoyed these and hope you watch Love is Blind. Yeah, you should watch it. It's good. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.